Hi everyone, welcome back to Ask a Pilot and today we have something very very interesting for you. Today we're going to review the Bose ProFlight Series 2 headset. So let's get the going. Since last time we have had a little assistant, so uh, little Lily might actually join uh, now and then in the video. We hope it's not too uh, distracting for you guys. So just to make it very clear, uh, we have been given the headset by Bose, but we have not been paid to produce this review, so we can say actually anything we like. So here at Ask a Pilot, we like to do a very, very thorough job, and we have actually tested this headset on 11 different aircraft types. Yes, so we started with the small aircraft that's like the Cessna 152, the Piper 28, Javira 430, and also a trip in the pits. Then it's been tested on a CRJ, it's been tested on the 737-800, 737 Max, uh, Airbus 319, 320, 321, and the Boeing 787. I think something that we need to clarify, we are not going to go in the nits and gritty and the very, very detailed review in here. We are very much focusing on the user experience. So if you want to have all the technical details, I would recommend you to either go to the Bose website or find some other reviews on here in YouTube. I think uh, when we went into this review, we had quite a lot of concerns and I think a lot of people have concerns when they are thinking of buying a new headset and this is very, very different to the very usual A20 that everyone knows and loves from Bose. I think it's also the fact that because it goes in the ears, I think uh, most people are probably not comfortable saying, can I have a go at your headset? So that's also why it makes quite it's quite difficult to actually have a go it uh, is. with a colleague's headset. And the other thing that we have found, even doing this review, having had the headset for a year, is the name. Uh, it's just Oof. something I think it doesn't <laughs> flow very natural. Uh, no, it's really hard to say, and then you forget it, what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, what is more important, we straight jump in of what was our concerns before going and testing the headset. Yeah. So here the headset, um, I think my first concern was, is it going to fall off? Because I think just the, just the very design of it, I thought, uh, how is this going to actually rest on my head? So what we did was we gave Kuka this headset and she went out in a pits. <laughs> No, it didn't. Okay. So I, I, I can assure you, even if there is heavy turbulence, it will not fall off. No, definitely not. Then the next thing I had a concern about was the robustness. So mm. this headset has been on 11 different aircraft. It's just over one year old. Yeah. It's probably done about 700 hours of flying. And I think looking at it, I can't see any weak points uh, at all. So I think the robustness, the build quality is really good. These are the bits that go into your ear, and I had a bit of a concern about how comfortable this would be, especially for longer flights. So I've done quite a few flights where it's just over 10 hours, and I haven't had any issues with um, these being in, in the ears. They've actually been quite comfortable. Okay, I, I might disagree with you, because I have flown with them maybe like four hours, and definitely I have had some discomfort. Mm. Both do actually give you three different sizes so small medium and large but for me it was still i had the smallest one it was still creating some discomfort but i think something that Bose sometimes fails to mention is you can actually have these bits custom made for your ear yeah that that will basically solve it but the other thing that i have a little bit difficulties with is because i have a piercing in my ear a track is piercing so I have very, very hard time actually putting the left one in. So I almost need a mirror. And of course, it doesn't seal as, as good as my right one where I don't have a piercing. So I do wonder if actually having them custom made would actually fix that issue mm. as well. Mm. I'm, uh, I'm Jens Martin and uh, I'm part of the, the ASK team behind the scenes. A little bit quick about myself. I've been 20 years in, in the aviation industry. I've flown uh, both uh, turboprop cargo and I'm now flying passengers uh, in Copenhagen for SAS. The new headset 
is uh, a basically a brand new design. It incorporates uh, earplugs with a boom that you're gonna have around your head. Uh, I've just seen pictures of it and uh, it looks quite complex to operate. I'm a little bit worried about that because I remove my headset a lot of times during the day. And uh, also when I communicate with the cabin uh, on board the aircraft, I, I have to remove the headset a little bit so that I can still listen in on the RT and, uh, and of course listen, listen to what uh, my purser is saying. I am also worried about uh, how it will stand up to actually noise with a, with a plug in your ear. How's that gonna work out? Uh, I know that you can get small uh, small uh, earplugs today with noise reduction, but there's a lot of noise reduction from actually having a cup around your ear. So I'm a little bit worried about that as well. And uh, then of course, I know that Bose makes really good uh, quality headsets because I've been I've been wearing one for five years, uh, and they did they, they don't seem to break very often, and uh, when they do, it's a simple fix. Of course, wear and tear uh, from a, a huge airline is, uh, plays a role. So if you're a private pilot, you, you could expect it to last much longer than, uh, than I would uh, at my job. Um, being that it is uh, many more, what do you say, like um, parts, it has a lot more parts. I'm worried that it will break. It can break in many more ways. Than it, uh, than it does right now. Those are my worries. And uh, hopefully you guys will uh, join me over the next couple of months and we will do some uh, great testing in all environments, including from airline to private flying and, and what else we can think of. Thank you guys, take care. So these were the concerns we had before testing the headset. There was also a few surprises. Yeah, so what was surprising to you? Well, I was very surprised that I have been looking forward to this feature where you, you can tap on the ear and oh, then yeah, it yeah, just yeah. cancel it. I just thought when the cabin crew are coming in, I thought uh, I've, I've flown with the A20 headset yeah. and that was actually quite difficult. You had to take it fully off the ear to actually hear what the cabin crew was saying. So I had actually been looking very much forward to, to using that to just stop the, uh, the noise reduction. And I have found I have I've not used it at all because it's so easy to just take it off behind the ear uh, anyway. So I think that that's a much better way of doing it. It doesn't like some companies they actually you fly with only one yeah. one headset on. So you when if you have a Bose like the A twenty, yeah, you kind of have to be like this. Absolutely. So um, I fly a long haul and I fly short haul. And on the long haul fleet, we only fly with uh, one ear. Okay. Oh, on, on this one, it's it's a little, as you say, it's a little bit more difficult. You end up flying like that. So which one you which one you prefer in that perspective? Well, if you fly in an operation where you only have one ear that you're actually using for the loudspeaker, I think definitely the uh, Pro Flight Two is, okay. is is a lot more easy because mm. the frame is still sort of at the right shape. I think. One thing that I found surprising with the Pro Flight 2 series is actually how light it is. Yeah. So for me, I actually get a lot of pressure on top of my head. So I actually get headaches and pain with the A20. So I haven't noticed the same thing with the Pro Flight 2 series. So definitely that's a win in my book. The other thing that we have been surprised about is the noise uh, cancelling, which is, I think is is really really good actually yeah it's surprisingly good yeah um but we've had some reports from some aircraft types like the crj um <laughs> the pilots testing it on the crj thought that that the noise level on mm -hmm. the flight deck was just a little bit too noisy for the headset so they would like the uh the reduction that the a20 yeah. gives so just to make it very clear if you have the a20 headset and yeah. you have the pro flight 2 series headset the a20 headset does give better uh, noise reduction than the um, Pro Flight 2 series, but I still think it's it's quite good even when you fly in a light aircraft. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it, it's still useful. Yeah, so I have been mainly flying with my well with our Pro Flight 2 series on a light aircraft, so Cessna 152, Piper, and then Chibiro. And for me, I prefer this over the A20. And for me, even though there is no passive noise cancelling. 
it's the clarity of the sound. Mm. So I can so clearly hear ATC absolutely everything with this. That's like that's a win for me in my books. Uh, and like I said, it's slight, so I have no issues getting headaches if I'm flying longer periods of time. So that's a definitely another one. I think uh, for you, what do you think about sound if you compare the two? I think definitely having your whole ear uh, sealed with an ear cup is, is better for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think um, on a light aircraft where I think there's a quite a lot yeah. of noise, I prefer the A20 okay. uh, just because of the, uh, the, the, the overall noise reduction. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't only been us that have been uh, testing the headset. We've also let, uh, forwarded it to a few of our friends. So mm. they, uh, we will produce a little short clip of what, what they have said about it. So thanks to uh, Jens Martin and thank you to Clive for uh, taking part of the test as well. And we have a few more uh, that have actually helped us out, but uh, they prefer not to be mentioned yeah. by name. They, they're a little bit more shy on the camera and video, so we will share their thoughts about these, yeah. about the headset. So I'm just back from a trip um, for up to uh, Porto Santos uh, this morning. Uh, it was a bit of an early shift, but uh, I'm home this afternoon, sun's shining, it's quite a nice day, so. Um, so I've worn the, uh, the headset now for about um, seven hours flying. So probably sort of seven and a half, seven hours 45 today. A uh, couple of things I noted really. Towards the end of the flight, I certainly noticed or felt the, uh, the earbuds in my ears. Um, but you know, I, you, you feel the A20s on your head as well after sort of that sort of period of time. So no real difference there, but um, I tried, tr tried positioning it slightly further forward on the way back um, today just to get a slightly better position to make to stop the microphone rocking around when I move my head uh, and that did seem to be a little bit better. Other positives really one thing it definitely is good that it fits in my flight bag a lot easier than the A20s it's nice and slim the case is hard I can slide it in there I didn't have to pull it out for security or anything like that so that's that's obviously great because it's just nice on your head after a period of time you forget it's there bit weird when you're eating um, and that the case is really nice and slim and it's, it just slips in my bag absolutely brilliant that is really great yeah report back soon i think uh, what people have said as well is that uh, on the proflight 2 series headset there's um, an option here where you can select uh, the noise cancelling to low medium and high and oh. that is actually quite useful i think because um, I feel that if I have that on high, it creates a little bit of a pressure in the ear. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas if I had a medium or low, the, I think it's the, the way the noise cancelling works. It's just a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. If the Pro Flight 2 series runs out of battery, it's very notable as well. You, you can notice the, it, yeah. the difference because yeah. once the noise, re um, the noise reduction is gone, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually quite noisy then. People have said that they would wish that there had been some kind of holder in here. Oh, yeah. And um, I think I'm quite good at wiping it off. But mm. I imagine if you are someone that has a lot of earwax, I think this could be quite disgusting all the while if you don't wipe it off. Because mm. actually these are just free Hanging lying there. in here. Mm. Yeah, because mm. it's, it's, it's a hard case. Uh, it does still take up quite a bit of space in your bag. It does. And when you look at actually how small the headset is, I would have wished that the box would have been smaller. So this is fabric, so this very squishy. Fabric. Yeah, uh, compared to the ProFlight 2 series, mm. it is it is still smaller. It is, but for example, this one has a placement where you can put. Yeah. It's very clear where yeah. you put your headset. Yeah. If you look at wear and tear, um, this headset is just over five years old. Um, it has it's it's still a working headset but it has suffered a little bit of, uh, of damage it has some weak points here like the the cable here has been um, seen better days actually this one <clears throat> is really good because you uh, it comes with a clip that you can hang so it doesn't oh, okay. uh, it doesn't actually produce the same stre uh, stress, stress on the on the cable so mm. i think that's really good and I was a little bit worried with these, these thin lines here. Um, that they would get caught up and... Not at all. There hasn't been anything. Hmm. Um, it's a little bit awkward, I think, if you, uh, if you um, 
have to change the boom mic from one side to the other, but it is portable. Uh, uh, I think it was rather easy, if I can remember. That's uh, well, I think that's the. It's because you have long nails. There you go. Yeah. It actually comes off very yeah. easily, um, but clearly not for you. Goes back in. Yeah. So if you know how to use it, it comes off very easily, and you can change it very easily to another side. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can't see the weight, of course, on the, on the video, but. You can just see the the difference in, mm. in material. I mean, this is a lot more heavy. Well, how about when you do a long haul flight? I um, think this. How th do you find the A20 compared to the Pro Flight 2? I would say for any flight over about eight hours, I think this one is is really making a difference. A shorter flight, I don't tend to to notice it a lot mm. more. But it's like when I have this on compared to this one, it's like oh freedom. <laughs> uh, that, that's kind of the reaction I get. I mean, this is built to reduce a lot of noise, I think. Um, yeah, what it has is the passive noise cancelling. So when this one runs out of battery, you are not left with a lot. No, whereas this one would still give you quite decent noise, prote uh, noise protection, I think. Yeah. But there isn't much uh, left yeah. if, if you're just down to battery. So definitely you need to always have a couple of batteries in yeah. your pocket just in case i think one advantage uh, that the pro flight 2 series uh, headset has over the a20 actually is that these these ear cups yep uh, my experience is that they last just over a year mm. and i can tell you there was one year i tried to replace them with some cheap ones don't do it because it's not worth it. So the, the genuine ones that you buy off Bose are actually quite expensive, I think. Mm. So you avoid having that um, that cost um, for replacing these, if you have these, because these are uh, lower maintenance. That, that's cool. I think something I have actually noticed, again, mm. doing a flight where I have changed straight from this to the A20 or the other way around, the volume actually mm. when i'm flying with the, this pro flight 2 series headset i tend to have a lower volume and it's just a product of the sound quality being clearer so i don't have to have the volume not as high to actually hear what's being said and because it comes crisper through yeah. with this one so that's so much better for your hearing as well i think it in is in the long term yeah. i think it actually is because if you can fly around with lower volume mm. i think my logic tells me that that is just less impact on your your uh, eardrum on everything so one little technical thing actually um, of course this depends on the size of your he head and everything but i'll just demonstrate if you have this on actually the microphone unless you bent it, it you can tilt it into a position like this but it's just a little bit awkward whereas this one it seems to be A lot easier to position just over your mouth it, it, it's just the economic, oh, okay. uh, economics of it it's just a lot better i think so you so have this, easier time to actually get the mic in the right position yeah, yeah and i have i have done some flights where i have um, asked my colleague hmm. of um, the difference in sound qu quality so uh, when you're speaking when i'm speaking just yeah. on the intercom and what the the feedback i have been given is that this is clearer this gives a clear yeah i, I um, think we have established that it's the hearing clearer you speak out so much much clearer yeah. so definitely there is so much more improvement in sound I, quality i think so yeah one thing that i had wished though if uh, if i could have some wish to bose for a pro flight three series headset mm. is that actually that you could use this um as a multimedia headset which is not really possible unless that you want actually the boom mic here because mm. because the power comes through the same place as the boom mic it's it's not like you could get away with just just doing that i mean if you can imagine if that could yeah. be a, a, a bluetooth headset or something like that it would actually be quite nice to just sit with this and and, and watch a movie it would actually also be quite nice if you could do a walk around and you could you could use the noise reduction this so if there so, could be like a battery yeah battery so the, somewhere in, clearly, in the frame yeah clearly in the frame it would need a battery yeah. but i definitely think it would be very useful that you actually could be 
taking it out from yeah. the power source and just have a battery so you can do your walk around and still have your active noise cancelling yeah. and protecting your hearing. Yeah. I think uh, sometimes we are very, very bad at doing that. So I think you mean using uh, earplugs around, yeah. around the aircraft. Yeah, I think I've seen quite a lot of people just doing that. When yeah, walk around so you think company. maybe that will also encourage people to actually protect their hearing as well if it's easy. So why not? And I think even if you push it even further, actually, if you could just run with these as well, if you could clip these off, then you also have a sports headset, then it's three in one. There you go, Bose. The, the whole idea of taking it actually to light aircraft was because if you are beginning your career and you want to invest in a headset, which we think is a really good idea, um, there was quite a lot that thought, oh, is the Pro Flight 2 Series headset at all usable for flight training? And I think the conclusion I, I think is... It is. It, it is. is usable for flight training. But I think if you want to have a safe bet, you're starting your flight training and you don't know where you're going to get employed. The A20 is much better and safer bet. But I do think for me, like I said, I love the sound clarity of the Pro Flight 2 Series. So for me, that's a win. But of course, I think not everyone has same preferences. So the safe bet is definitely the A20 because it works in so many environments. Any time that you fly maybe more than five, six hours a day, yeah. I think you would really benefit from the freedom of having the uh, Pro Flight 2 Series headset. And actually, one surprise that I hadn't thought about at all, the Pro Flight 2 Series headset it does not matter whether you're wearing sunglasses or not. It does no. not affect the performance of the headset. Whereas when you have the A20 headset on, it, it breaks the seal mm. for most sunglasses. Oh, Whereas yeah. actually... It, it could be the same for glass wearers because I haven't had any issues when I have been flying with the Pro Flight Series 2 because I wear glasses. Uh, so And then also changing mid-flight yeah. into sunglasses is so much easier with the Pro Flight Series 2. Yeah, so actually just demonstrating the sunglasses makes absolutely no difference to, to the headset. All right, Kuga, so very quick, student pilot, Pro Flight 2 Series headset, yes or no? Yes for me, and that's because of the sound clarity, no because of the passive noise reduction. So if you run on battery, you better have some in your pocket. Yeah. So, uh, regional pilot flying maybe a noisy airplane, ATR, so, CRJ, say, uh, probably a no-go. No. Yeah, um, I would say the feedback that we got, yeah. it was a no. Yeah. Short haul, 737, Airbus 319, 320. The overall feedback was that actually it depends on whether you can actually like, you have something in your ear, whether you have mm. discomfort or not. Um, if you don't have any issues with having something in your ear, yeah. The lightweight of the Pro Flight 2 Series headset just makes it a better hit. So 737, I think that it depends on what type of 737 you're on. I think there's some that are more noisy than others. Again, it's the same thing with the ATR and the COJ. If uh, if you're on a noisy flight deck, I think the A20 is better. Mm -hmm. If uh, if it's not too noisy, I'd go for Pro Flight 2 Series headset. Okay, how about then 78? 78, I think what you're into here is that you're flying quite long distances and I would say it, it, it gets to a point over seven or eight hours. It starts being quite heavy to wear the, the, mm. uh, the A20. Okay. Of course, it does actually depend on what way you're flying. Mm. And just to, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like when you fly with the Atlantic, there's a, a huge part where you uh, are not uh, wearing headsets. So there it doesn't actually make too much of a difference. But if you're flying eastbound, if you go yeah. to, to Asia, you have your headset on for a longer period of time. So I'd definitely say uh, any time that you fly more than seven or eight hours in a day, uh, the, the Pro Flight 2 Series headset comes out as a winner. Do you think it's worth the money? Knowing what I know now, I would go out and buy the Pro Flight 2 Series headset, but I think it's so much depending on what kind of aircraft type you're on. Um, if you are flying on anything where you have long days where you're flying maybe more than eight hours mm -hmm. I think you're really going to benefit from the Pro Flight 2 Series headset but even if you're starting at a flying school and you don't really know where you're going to end up career-wise I think our review has or our testing 
has proved that you can actually use it all the way yeah. from flying light aircraft all the way up through. I think the only thing I would be concerned about if you end up flying an aircraft that is a little bit noisy, it could be an ATR or COJ or something like that, helicopters, I think the uh, noise reduction on the ProFlight 2 Series headset is probably just on the weak side. Yeah, so basically if you want to take a safe bet and you're unsure which one to get, definitely I say that you have a safer bet with the A20. Yeah, whereas if you already know what kind of type you're flying and if you are like doing long short haul days or you mm. fly medium haul or long haul, I'd say definitely go and give ProFlight 2 Series headset a go. So guys, I hope you appreciated that and uh, apologies for our little assistant here who has made it uh, quite entertaining to, <laughs> to do this review. <laughs> and sometimes very stinky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we hope to see you again. Bye. Bye. Good girl. She just farted on the... So actually, so just to demonstrate your point with the glasses, so take the glasses on, glasses off, glasses on, how do I look? A little bit silly in a way. Hi everyone, welcome back to Ask a Pilot and today we have something very interesting you. We are reviewing the Bose for... <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Bose Pro Flight Series 2. No. Bose Pro Flight Series 2. Yeah. yeah. Bose Pro Flight <laughs> Series 2. Okay. What's it called again? Sam? Pro Flight 2 Series headset. Pro Flight 2 Series headset. That's a that's a really uh, it's a it's a good name. It's very long. I'll I'll have a hard time remembering that. Mm -hmm.